Hello there, Jonathan Harris here from Coho, and I'll be kicking off our new feature series with probably one of the most requested features we've had in recent times, and that is the ability to upload and store your AST documents within Coho. Up until today, you'd have to upload them um, on a case-by-case -case basis, so this new upgrade will save you a huge amount of time and make it much easier for the team working around you. So in practical, real-life terms, what this looks like is when you log into your Coho account, you'll need to click the Tenancies button here. That then takes you down to the Tenancies section. There's been this little cog that's been introduced. So if you click on that new cog, it opens up Tenancy Settings. So this is where you'll be uploading your document. And now there's two things to note at this stage. The first is that the document must be a Word document. It won't accept a PDF. And the second is that when, for the very first time, you create your AST, do make sure that you refer to our mail merge guidelines, which we have within the system. I will show those to you, but assuming you've done both of those things, all you need to do is go into this area, click add a new template, give it a name, decide whether it's for all or for individual properties. We're gonna say all for this scenario. You then click choose a file. We're gonna choose one that we made earlier and open it up there. You then have two additional options. You can add additional files or guarantor agreements. Now, guarantor agreements is a new area, and that's because we've added e-signing for guarantors. So if that's something you want to do, you can add it in here. You then click the Add button. And it's as simple as that. In terms of um, actually appending that um, AST to a tenant, you simply go to Onboarding. You go to the tenancy agreement section because that's the stage a tenant would have got to because they're at the tenancy agreement to be proposed stage. You'll click view. You then go down to the tenancy agreement action and open that panel up. You'll create a tenancy agreement here. We're going to give this one a 12 month term. We're going to choose e-signing. And now you'll see two new options. You've either got existing or new. We're going to select existing and then grab the sample AST we have there. The great thing we can now do is we can also view and have a preview of what that document with our mail merge tags may look like. So to do that, simply click view mail merge, which now presents two options, the ability to view within Coho, which is again a new feature, or to download. So it's as simple as that, really. Um, as I alluded to, if you do need help with what mail merge tags look like, you simply go to the tenancy agreement contract here and there's a downloadable PDF that you can use and grab the relevant merge fields to your document. So do check that out as well um, whilst you're going through this process. But for now, um, that is uploading and storing ASTs within Coho. We hope you love it. And we hope you take real benefit from it. As always, if there's any questions, the whole team are here to help. So take care and speak soon.